Colonel Sanders had his secret recipe. McDonald's has their secret sauce. But you know, the Bible has a secret, and the Apostle Paul talks about his personal secret for some success in life. And we're going to talk about that today. Welcome to Encouraging Word, a brief daily word of encouragement from the Bible. I'm Dave. I'm in Killarney, Manitoba, and I'm so glad that you've joined us today for this brief word. Uh, we all know that adversity and trials come our way. We, we get that. Certainly, the Apostle Paul experienced his share of troubles and trials, but he said that he had learned a secret, and he talks about it in Philippians chapter 4, starting at verse 12. He says, I know what it is to be in need, and I know what it is to have plenty. I've learned the secret of being content in any and every situation, whether well-fed or hungry, whether living in plenty or in want. I can do all this through him who gives me strength. If you learn this secret of contentment um, in, in whatever circumstance you find yourself in, uh, this is not a matter of giving up or resigning yourself to say, well, this is just the way it's going to be and I just better accept it. Um, it's recognizing that right now you are in the hands of God, that God has his hand in your life, that God is protecting you, and we should not whine about our situation. We should not complain about our situation, but we should put our trust in God. God. We believe that God will direct our steps. Uh, contentment includes very much this idea of not complaining. Uh, you accept what he is right now, and until God brings about a change, you will still give God praise for the situation you find yourself in and for who he is. Job certainly faced his fair share of uh, trials and, and heartache and tribulation, but he understood that God was in control. In Job 13, verse 15, he says, Though he slay me, yet I will hope in him. Another translation says, Though he slay me, yet I will trust him. Some of you have not learned this secret yet, even though it's clearly outlined in the scriptures. I want to encourage you today to put your trust in God. Um, I'm not sure all that's going on in your life right now. I'm not sure all the circumstances that are happening, obviously, but God has you. He is with you. He is protecting you. He is guiding your steps. He's bringing you along the way to a place where he wants you to be. And we have to, at this point, relax and allow God to direct us and allow God to uh, uh, comfort us and allow God to shield us and allow God to bring us through this, this stage. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Uh, there's a contentment, even in the, in, in the worst situation in life, knowing that God is with us and God is for us. And I just want to encourage you in that today to be in, to just to be aware of God's presence. Be aware of his hand in your life and he has you. Let's pray together. Father, we thank you for your grace in our lives. Thank you, God, that in spite of the situation, we know that you are with us and you will always be with us. You will never leave us nor forsake us and that we have this. We have the strength. We have the power of God. We can do all things through Christ who gives us strength. And so we thank you for that confidence that we have. And we thank you that we can face the situation we're in today with confidence, knowing that you care for us and knowing that you're in charge. In your name we pray. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day. I pray that God will make his presence very real to you today. Have fun.